Today I'll be teaching you how to create a smiley button in GIMP. Your finished product will look something like this. As you can see, it looks like one of those yellow smiley pins that you pin on your backpack, your shirts, whatever you pin them on. And we're going to create that. So open up GIMP. I already have mine open. And click File, New. And create a new image. And I'll just use the default size settings, which is 640 by 400 pixels. And click OK. Now, on your Layers dialog, which you can open by going to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, Layers, you want to click on this page icon, and that creates a new layer, as you can see in this pop-up dialog. You want to make sure it's set on Transparency, and click OK. Now you want to take your Ellipse Select tool, which looks like an oval with a fuzzy border, click and hold Shift, and create a circle selection about this size, and just you can move it to the middle if you want. Take your fill bucket tool, set the foreground color to a nice yellowish orangish color about F0CE00. Click OK and click inside your selection. Click select, none. Now click layer, auto crop layer, and now we're going to align it with the image using the alignment tool. So take your alignment tool which looks like a white rectangle with four black arrows pointing out of it and click on your yellow circle now in the alignment options tool options you want to click this align center of target and align middle of target and this will just center it perfectly in the middle now you want to take your ellipse select tool again and in your layers dialog click the page icon again to create a new layer make sure it's set on transparency and click OK and create a selection about that size about like that now take your fill bucket tool set your foreground color to black by clicking this little two squares image and click inside of your oval now you want to take your blend tool which looks like a gradient from gray to white and in its tool options you want to set the shape on linear on radial sorry and the gradient as foreground to transparent which is looks like black to like this grayish checkerboard thing and you want to set your foreground color to white which you can do by clicking these arrows which will switch your foreground and background colors now you want to make a small gradient in this upper left corner by clicking and dragging about like that and now as you can see it adds a bit of a highlight to make it look more realistic now click select, grow, and grow by about two pixels. And in your layers dialog, create a new layer on transparency. And with your fill bucket tool, set your foreground color to black and click inside your selection. Now click select, none. Now in your layers dialog, you want to click on your top layer and move it just below the layer below it. And right click on that top layer and click merge down and what this does is it gives us a nice black outline on our eyeball now you want to go layer auto crop layer and then in your layers dialog you want to click this double image icon which, which will duplicate your layer um, it'll create a duplicate a copy and with your move tool which looks like four arrows pointing in all different directions you want to move the copy over to about where you want it and once again we're going to take our alignment tool which I described earlier and repeat the same thing except this time we need to align it with this with the other eye not the whole image so it'll be a bit different click on one of your eyeballs and then in your layers dialog you'll see you have two and one of them is on the right and one is on the left so if you selected your right eyeball then click your left eyeball layer and you'll see you'll have a yellow and black border around that eyeball which is what we want then in the tool options this is set to relative to active layer and then do that before I was aligning it to the whole image or this or something I'm not really sure. So, um, so just make sure it's relative to active layer and click that. 
and that will line them up so that they're on the right level. Okay, now in your layers dialog, you want to right click on your top layer and click merge down so they're on the same layer. Now with your move tool, you can move it a bit to line it up like that. Okay, so now what we have to do is create the mouth. And we can do this by taking our lip select tool, which I described for you before, and creating a circle select by pressing shift, about like that. Now in your layers dialog, you want to click the page icon again to create a new layer. Make sure that it's set on transparency and click OK. Now, while still on your ellipse select tool, you want to go to the tool options and select the subtract from the current selection mode. And you want to hold shift and create another circle and move it just about like that. So you see we get this smile shape. Now of course it looks demented, but we can fix that. Now with your fill bucket tool, fill in the selection with black. Now click select, none. Now with your move tool, you can take that and move it higher up so it doesn't look as weird. Now with your eraser tool, which I don't really need to describe, but I will anyway, which looks like a pink bar of soap, you want to erase around the edges of your mouth and give them a more of a rounded look and make them a bit shorter. Less pointy, less joker-like. Like that should be fine. They're going to be covered up anyway, but you don't want them to be that long. Now, in your layers dialog, you want to create another new layer. Yeah, I know, it's a lot, but this is actually nothing compared to some really large works of GIMP art. And with your lip select tool, once again, you want to select an oval about that size. Oops. Always make sure that in the tool options that it's set on replace the current selection. So about that size. Maybe a bit narrower, a bit taller. About like that. And in your layers dialog, or sorry, just take your fill bucket tool, make sure the foreground color is black, and fill it in. Now click select, none. Now, with your rotate tool, which looks like a rectangle, then another one with that's rotated and has arrows pointing around it. Click on the layer and rotate using this bar to what looks about right for your smile. Click rotate. And it should sharpen up a bit. Now take your move tool and move it into place. Now, layer, auto crop layer and duplicate this layer by clicking the double image icon. Now go layer, transform, flip horizontally, and with your move tool, move it to the other side. Should look about like that. So now right click on one of your mouth corner layers and click alpha to selection. Now with your blend tool, which should still be on radial, Set your foreground color to white, that's important. And click from the left, inward. Same with the other one. Right click, alpha to selection, and from the left, inward. Now click select, none. And you'll see it gives it a more of a bubble look. Right click on your mouth, alpha to selection. Same thing, except a bit closer to the center and you might want to do it a couple more times or in your tool options set the shape on linear maybe that's a bit much but you get the idea something like that select none wow that is horrible sorry I just need to fix this up a bit selection foreground color black 